Hey, welcome back. You know when you're showing off the websites that you've built, you might have an image or a portfolio or something. Sometimes they look quite common in terms of how they are. You know, there's nothing special about them, just lots of images or a gallery. How can we use a column hover effect, but instead apply it to a section to try and make it a little bit more dramatic? I'm gonna show you how to do that right now. Now, if you've been following our videos where we've used a column hover effect with a bit of CSS, so when you hover over the column, images can appear, videos, whatever you want. What if we apply that to a section instead? That now means now it doesn't matter where we put the items, we're gonna have multiple columns here. Those items will appear when we hover. Let me show you how we do that. So over here in column one, we're gonna drop in a image. Because it might be that you're showing off a portfolio. So let's just drop in an image of a website like so. So we've got a website, you know, I mean, you're probably gonna use some better visuals and things like that. Now over on the right hand side, we're gonna add in some header. So we might add in a header like this and we might call it a uh, project uh, one. Obviously you're gonna give it a proper title. You know, I'm just putting stuff in here just so you can understand how to build and do this. And then underneath you might put a subtitle, maybe it's a e-commerce store or a architect website or a uh, profile, something like that. And then you might put in some text and the text is gonna be, we'll just, we'll just put in a little bit more random words here, like so, something like that. This is now where you're describing the project, maybe the, you're probably not gonna talk about the budget, but how you built it, what were the problems, were there any problems, you know, things like that. So if I just move myself a little bit there out the way like that, that's what you've got at the moment. But if you now wanted to see more images for that website, you're probably gonna have a button that says see more and it takes them to another page. Or maybe there'll be another gallery on here, which is fine, but if you're showing off about five or six website, it could get quite heavy with images. So this is where, when we hover over this, in fact, where we hover over any part of this, doesn't have to be the image, any part of this, some further images will appear. So let's put those into place. First thing we're gonna do is um, we're gonna go to this image here and we're not gonna touch it. We are gonna leave this one as it is. We're gonna go over to the text that we have here and I'm gonna leave the text as it is as well. You're probably thinking, what the heck is this all about? This text though, not the header, this text, I'm gonna go to advance and I'm gonna give this a CSS class of text hide. Use terminology that works with you and is easy to understand. So I'm gonna call this text hide and I'm just gonna hit update for now. We're then gonna add in further images. So I'm just gonna duplicate this image. Okay, so it comes all the way down here and I'm gonna duplicate it again. Don't worry, this is not how it's gonna look. The second image, I'm gonna swap out and put a tablet picture, like this. And in the third image down here, I'm just gonna pick off a phone image as well, or an iPhone image, okay? Again, please excuse the way these images look. I just quickly picked some uh, from our website screenshots and just dumped them in. You would, do, you would probably do this a bit more scientifically. Now these images are, are kind of okay in size. If you wanna resize them, go ahead and do that, okay? You know, I would always recommend in your style, you put a width or a maximum width or a height, you work that out. But the key thing is for the images two and three, we're gonna go down to advanced and I am gonna call these image show, okay? Image show, and we'll do the same for the bottom one as well. But we're also gonna to go to positioning, I'm gonna set this to be a custom width, and I'm also gonna set this to be an absolute. Now I've gone into positioning, and I've given this a column width for 400. If you don't do this, okay, and I leave that blank, and I've made it absolute, when I start to move it, it will start to do things like this, which is really, really annoying. So I'm gonna say 400 in its width, and I'm now gonna move this to actually sit over here. Let me just move myself out the way over here, it's gonna move, we're just gonna position this. It's not, com it's over the text, but don't worry about that. Now we'll go to the third image, okay? we we'll go to advanced. We're gonna give this one, we're gonna say image uh, show. Again, it helps if you keep it consistent with its wording or its naming. Positioning, you know the drill. Custom, we'll go with 400 again. And I'm gonna give this a absolute as well. And I'm now just gonna move this to be over the text like this. Now at the moment, 
the text is showing over the image because of the order that we had added them in. Okay, but don't worry about that. The key bit is just to make sure, are you happy with how it looks? Now what we're going to do is drop in a little bit of code. And I now click on the section, okay? And we go to advanced, there's the code. So here we go, we have a section. And the idea is that when you hover over this, the text will disappear and the images will appear. You could have multiple sections for many projects and you could even flip it around a bit. So rather than the text being visible, you would have your images, they're all there. And as soon as you hover, some of the images disappear and the text now appears. You could even have a video that appears that starts to play. You could have a button. You could have like a, a contact form. There's so many things you could have using this simple bit of code to make your website just a little bit more interactive. Let's see what this does. Look at that. The text has disappeared and we now have some images. And that's the beauty of it, okay? And you move your mouse away and it reappears again. And, and look, that is pretty, pretty simple. Now, how is that gonna look on a mobile? This is where you gotta play around a little bit with how does it look on a screen. So I would say that you don't wanna have this image fill up the whole screen. Otherwise, when they hover, they're not really gonna notice this effect because they will already have scrolled down. You wanna make sure that that is like not taking up more than like 50 vertical height. And this is probably taking up the next 50. So you can see it. So when you get to mobile, you'll have project one and text underneath. You know, you can see it all on screen, okay? And then when you're hovering over it or you're moving down, then the additional images appear. But it's another way of how you can get off a lot more detail um, and images on your website without having too much crazy busyness. I hope you like, subscribe, share and follow and I'll see you soon.